In order to succeed in your exams, you've got to make sure you're going in with a certain strategy with particular styles of exam question. And if you're doing OCR, you want to make sure that you're getting ready for those level of response questions. These are indicated by an asterisk at the start of the question section. In order to understand how to answer them effectively, we also need to consider how they are marked. So using this exemplar document from OCR, we're going to take a look at the tips they provide about how you should answer these in the exam. But first, take a peek at how they're allocating those points. It says here that examiners are told to read through an answer once to decide which of the four levels, including zero, it matches on a best fit basis. This is going to be using the scientific data and it's going to be using the descriptors provided in the mark scheme. They then read the answer again to decide whether the quality of written communication statement, which is in italics, is matched on the left hand side of the mark scheme. This is really important for you to consider because I think a lot of people don't understand what, for example, in a level three answer would get you six marks compared to what would get you five marks. Or in a level two, what constitutes a four mark or a three mark answer. So let's dig a little deeper into what they mean about this tactic. For a traditional exam question, you would just look at what you were meant to say, make sure that your vocab is tweaked a little bit, that your answer is nice and clear, and learn better for next time if you got anything wrong. For the level of response questions, as we've just seen and as we understand, OCR actually assign a level based on the scientific content of your answer, and also if you hit certain criteria on the left-hand side of their mark scheme. They have a big list in these level of response mark schemes of indicative scientific information. You want to make sure that you are getting a vast majority of these points, but look out for the ors and instead ofs. Then using a best fit approach on the science content of the answer, the allocation of level 0, 1, 2 or 3 is made, followed up by, and this is really important, once the level is located, award the higher or the lower mark. The higher mark, like 6 instead of 5, should be awarded where the level descriptor has been evidenced and all aspects of the communication statement in italics have been met. So what is this italics section they're referring to? Take this example from 2020. In the level 3 answer, it says there is a well-developed line of reasoning which is clear and logically structured. The information presented is relevant and substantiated. So what should you do in the exam to make sure you're hitting not only the scientific criteria, but this question layout design? Read the question carefully is going to be my first and obvious point. But they do recommend in this same document that you annotate the items such as data, compounds and instructions before tucking into your response. Because you've got to make sure that you're hitting all that extra level of detail I mentioned before. Furthermore, you've got to plan your layout. You've got to think about how is it going to be logical, a well line of reasoning, all of that. So subheadings, your sequence and some bullet points are going to be absolutely crucial here. My third recommendation is that you keep the detail high. Your vocab needs to be pristine. Your structures need to be very well drawn. Your detail in the analysis of data can't assume anything. So make sure you are extra clear about everything you're saying. Once you've got to the end of your answer, you need to reread the answer and ask yourself, have I used all the data in the question or did I skip something? Have I used all my vocab or have I been a bit generic with a term? Is my answer logical and clear? Does it follow a well-developed line of reasoning? If you can do all of this, you're on your way to success in the level of response exam questions. Thank you very much for watching everybody. If you need any of the documents I've used in this video, please check out the links in the video description. There are also lots of links on screen now to other content from my channel to help you succeed in your chemistry exams. Until next time though, happy revising.